Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of learning layers in Medibang. In this video, I'll be explaining what are the four most used types of layers. All these types are great because they support different drawing purposes. To start off, this layer is your all-purpose layer. You can do anything in this layer. It's good for outlining, drawing, coloring, editing, etc. This is the layer you will probably use the most. This one on the right is called the 8-bit or 8-BPP layer, and you can tell it's not a regular layer because of this icon right here. This layer lets you draw in grayscale from black to white. I'm going to go over to the color window on the left and select any color. Even though the color in the red highlighted box is showing the color red, my strokes are coming out in tones of gray. As I move the circle in the color window lower and closer to the color black, my strokes are getting darker and darker. As I move the circle higher and higher and closer to the color white, my strokes are getting lighter and turning gray. This over here is the one bit layer and it lets you draw your strokes in solid black and white lines only. 8 bit and 1 bit are great for outlining your drawings in gradients of black and white. You might choose to use 8-bit if you want to outline or shade your drawings in complete black and white gradients, or you can use 1-bit if you want to outline your drawings in solid black and white colors. Another reason why you might want to use 8-bit and 1-bit layers is if you are making a black and white comic or manga and can only really use gradients of black and white. These layers save you the hassle of carefully moving the colors around, and it's also just really convenient in general. So we're gonna move on to another type of layer, and for this, you have to go to the cog wheel on your right. It'll take you to the settings of that specific layer. Here, you can find an option called draft layer, and draft layer is great because it is not influenced by selections made by magic wand, bucket tools, not visible when printed, will not appear in your JPG, PNG, BMP file formats, and will not be applied to saved files either. This is great because Medibang created a layer specifically for sketching and planning out your canvas. Again, it's really convenient and useful for storyboarding or character designing. You can always go back to settings and turn on and off draft layer too. Honestly, it's super cool that Medibang offers a sketch layer. However, I don't think it's a super necessary layer to use. You can always just sketch something on a basic and normal layer, adjust the opacity, and then delete the layer. I think it's really all just up to personal preference and how you want to sketch. All right, so that's all about draft layers. If we look to the right of the one bit icon, there is a paper icon with a plus sign. These layers here are great for comic book or manga shading or outlining. I'll go into detail about these in another video on how Medibang is a great program for comic book making. Click on this folder icon and a folder should pop up in your layers window. You can put whatever layers you want into here and also take them out. You can also rename this folder by double clicking on it going into the name box and typing in your name. Using folders is great for organizing your progress and keeping track of your layers. You can open and close the folder to show your other layers too. You can also delete your folder, but remember if you delete your folders with all your layers in it, you will delete those layers too. So before deleting a folder, take out all of your layers. This icon here lets you copy layers. So as you can see, now I have two of my line art layers but I don't need that many layers of my line art, so I'm going to delete them. This icon is merging layers. If you click this, specifically the top layer will combine with the bottom layer. You can't combine the bottom layer with the top layer. And so, this is the end of part 3. We learned the different types of layers in Medibang and their advantages and disadvantages. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos or find these videos helpful. Let me know in the comments what kind of tutorials you would like to see.